Hey, real quick before we bust into this awesome ration review. Again, just want to point out, if you guys happen to send me something, please send me an email or some kind of notification. All my contact is right down there in the description box. Bill, got your IMP. Thanks a lot, buddy. Now, no more screwing around. Let's get on with this review. Hey, guys. Welcome back to our Case A and B series of our 2018 rations. Sorry it's been a little while, man. Just trying to keep people motivated with actually fresh home-cooked meals as opposed to this shelf-stable stuff. But what we got today, we got menu number 20. This is hash brown potatoes with bacon, peppers, and ba -da -da -da, onions. Let's see what we have inside of this thing. And again, we'll try our luck with a peelable seal. Sometimes we're good, sometimes we're not, but... And this one is... It's like some of these, you think they seal it with super glue, and some of them, not so much. Again, AmeriCall packaging. We know it's a Sopaco ration. Man, out, out! And of course, this is our main. Got eight ounces of that, I'm assuming. Some crackers, hot beverage bag, FRH. Accessory packet, spoon, got some granola with blueberries and milk, apple turnover, kind of hard to see, smoked almonds, weird choice, cheese spread, good choice, and some beverage base orange type 3. Again, right here is our sleeve, lets you know everything that's inside of that bad boy and your nutrition facts. And this looks like just all the usual suspects. Of course, you got your gum, your, what is this, coffee, salt, creamer, waste toilet, matches, sugar, and lastly, your TP. Well, let's get this stuff heated up, drinks made, and stuff onto the tray. Oh, man. All right, there we go. And the granola calls for two to four ounces of water. I've got about like three and a half in here, just to be a little safe. And we'll give this a good mix. We'll slide this stuff over just a little bit so you can take a gander of everything. There we go. Well, this looks like it turned out all right. Try to get it all out of here. Wow, looks like something uh, Barney dropped out the backside. And we got our main, it is nice and toasty, just like always. Hash browns and all kinds of gunk in there. Take a look at that, you can see the peppers right off the bat. Little bits of meat in there. Poke through it, and you definitely smell the bacon. I can see little bits of pepper. Looking in here for some onion, I don't really see any. Maybe it's just more onion powder. Heated up my cheese because this is always extremely better when it is a little warm. So we'll set that right there. Well, I guess actually we'll put that over here because we have this apple turnover. 
Got this thing nice and warm as well. Mmm, look, it's all nice and soft and pliable. That's exactly how you want to do it. Well, let's not screw around. Let's give this stuff a taste test. Let's go just right on its own. And what is this? Hash brown potatoes with bacon, peppers, and onions. It's pretty salty. You can see that sodium count in there. But granted, it's not a ton of salt, but it doesn't need anything except for a little bit of heat. Definitely make everything taste better. And why they don't put hot sauce in something like this, I have no idea. At least salsa verde something. Put a little on that side. And grab one of our crackers. Just so you can have that crunch component. Ah. Let's do it live. I'm going to give this one a go. Oh, that just adds so much good heat to it. Take a little bit of our coffee and give that a try. Mm. Like leaded -le -le coffee. And I'm going to take a look at this turd over before it starts cooling down. You can definitely tell the difference. Nice and pliable. Tears. It's insides nice and gooey. Mm. Let's take a look at that bad boy. Slightly chewy, got that little bit of sweetness, got a little bit of these apple bits on here, so you get that nice apple flavor. Mmm, that's really good. And it is a total world of difference from just eating it room temp or cold, between heating it up. Makes a ton of difference. Try some of these smoked almonds. Slight smoky flavor, they are really salty. I was going to say, if they had like a little bit of sugar on them, they would go really good with that. In fact, I'll just do it just for the heck of it. Grab one of them, cram it right in there, and we'll give that one a go. That's okay because you get a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of salty savory going on. Uh, works out pretty good. Let's take a look at our blueberry milk oatmeal. Still a little warm. Man, that just looks almost criminal. Maybe this is just me, and I don't know if you've ever had this, but they used to have a cereal called Boo Berries, like Frankenberry Count Chocolate kind of stuff. This almost tastes like the the Boo Berry <laughs> when you left it in the milk too long and it softened up into like a mush on the bottom. It doesn't look all that great, but it, it does taste pretty good, especially if you use a little bit of warm water instead of cool water. Mm. So I'm going to clean this spoon off, grab a little bit of this spicy stuff, a little bit of this cheese. Oh, and that is going to make a world of difference to these flavors. Now I know we do this on a tray, but out in the field what you do is you would rip this thing right open. Give your stuff a mix, throw your crackers in there, throw your cheese in there, mess it all up. Oh man, and it is so incredibly good. Chowing down like that. Got some of that heat kicking back in. Try our orange drink, type three beverage, whatever, blah, 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 blah. As far as I'm concerned, this one is probably one of the best MRE type drinks. And I'll try one more thing over here. Grab a little bit of that. Grab a little bit of this cheese. Mush it down. Oh, well, there we go. Mm, just for that crunch component, that crunch factor. Well, everybody, this was menu number 20 of our Case A and B 2018 data production. Hash brown potatoes with bacon, pepper, and onions. Pretty tasty. I, I don't think there's anything on here that I don't really care for, which is really rare in an MRE. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you all on my next review. Bye.